In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this rolling text animation in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, let's go ahead and drag our Fusion Composition and head over to the Fusion Composition tab. So first thing over here, we're going to add a background and I'm just going to slightly change the color to blue or you can say dark blue. And now I'm going to add a text. So let me just connect this text and over here you can just go ahead and write anything. I'm just going to write this. And the font that I'm going to be using is Futura Bold. So you can go ahead and use any other font but I'm going to go ahead and use this one for this video. And let's also go ahead and increase the font size and make sure that this is in the center. All right. And now I'm going to add a, another background and this time I'm going to change the color to white and I'm also going to add a rectangle mask around it. So let's go ahead and connect these and go back to your rectangle and over here just unselect this solid and change the border width to 0 0.003 and change the corner radius as well. So adjust this so that this is according to your text over here. So this looks nice and now what we're going to do is just go ahead and copy this text and unselect and make sure that nothing is selected over here and just go ahead and hit control V and do this for as many times as you have characters in your text. So for example, we have seven characters in our text. I'm going to create seven copies of this text. So the reason that I'm keeping this original one is because I need to align our text according to this. So you will see in a moment. First, let me just go ahead and copy this seven times. And now let's go ahead and connect these. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to remove these characters and only keep one character in each of these nodes. So for example, in the first one, I'm going to keep the R. In the second one, I'm going to keep the O and so on. So you can go ahead and do this. And also one other thing that we need to do is we need to add the same character at least five times. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by this. So for example, in the first one, I have this R. I'm going to go ahead and make, first of all, let me just align this according to this R. And now let me just go ahead and create five copies. So here you can see we have five copies in our text. And let's just go ahead and, and align this, align this according to the text that we have over here. And the last letter that we have in our text, the last one, just make sure that you align this. Initially, we will use this last one and then animate it so that this moves like this. So this is the basic concept. So right now we have this text over here, R, as you can see. And let's also go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of these. So now that we have positioned all of these, we can go ahead and remove this text or you can just unselect this from here and you will see that we have our text. And now what you can do is just make sure that everything is aligned properly. If not, you can just go ahead and adjust this. So here you can see I have adjusted all of these. And now what we need to do is we need to mask. So we need to create mask around each of these characters. So let me go ahead and start with this first one. Let's go ahead and connect this rectangle with this text one. And let's bring down the width and the height. And first of all, let me just align this accordingly over to this R like this. Then let's go ahead and use the width and the height like this. 
So I'm going to match the border over here. So here you can see I am matching the border and we can just make sure that this does not cross over the border. So within the border, this will look just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of these. So you can just follow along. So here you can see we have all of our masks uh, done as well. So now what we need to do is we need to animate. And this is fairly simple. Just go over to your text one by one. And let's go over to somewhere around 50 and create a keyframe in the layouts. So I'm going to create a keyframe at center. Go over to zero and then move this R out of the mask as well. Or you can say the border that we have. And if we play this now, you will see that we need to also animate the text. So make sure that you now move when you are at 50. So wherever you want this animation to stop, go over there where we have created a keyframe and then move this downwards. And now we're going to align the letter that was on the top. So this R over here is now going to be our main R when the animation ends and now let's go over to spline and what we can do is select these keyframes and hit S on your keyboard and also press ctrl T and select this final keyframe over here and increase the ease in somewhere around let's say 60 and if you just play this and just see how this looks so here you can see this is how it looks at the moment and now we need to do the same thing for the rest of these. So I'm going to go ahead and create a keyframe at 55 for the second text, second character which is the O. So let's go ahead and create a keyframe in the layout section and once again let's move this out of the screen at 0 then go back to 55 and let's move these all the way to this so we're going to repeat the same process but just go ahead and make sure that these are spaced out so you get a better effect so that this is not a linear type of animation every character is moving at a different pace and now for the o as well i'm going to go over to spline and i'm going to unselect this text one which is our r i'm only going to select this second one which is the o and let's go ahead and select our keyframes hit s and once again i'm going to do the same thing for this as well but you can go ahead and add a bit variation among these so that this is spaced out and this looks unique so if we play this you'll see that we are getting somewhat the same kind of an effect so in order to because we need this to be at a different pace so what we can do is just move this around and if we play this now. So now this looks much better. And we're going to do the same thing for the rest of these. So you can go ahead and try them out yourself. I'm just quickly going to do that. So I have created all these keyframes, added the animation, and now, now let's see how this looks. So it looks amazing. And this is how you can create rolling text animation in DaVinci Resolve. So over here in our main timeline, you will see that we are getting the same effect. And of course, you can go ahead and play around with the 
settings, the keyframes to get a different effect. And this is it for this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.